Palau is about to take a bold step forward with President Tori Byung entering into an agreement with a conservation society known as the Sea Shepherd to help protect Palau's waters. I had an opportunity to sit down with the President, uh, the representatives from Sea Shepherd, and Dermot Keen of Palau Shark Sanctuary to discuss this exciting and promising development for Palau's environment. My first question was, what is Sea Shepherd? I established the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society in 1977 because I felt there was a need for an anti-poaching organization that was a non-government organization. We have all the rules and treaties and laws we need really to protect our oceans, but there's a lack of enforcement. That's because of lack of uh, political and economic incentives or, or will really. And so uh, we decided to intervene where governments were not intervening. And, uh, and also to work with governments when and where we can. Uh, Dermot, can you uh, tell us how this meeting uh, came about, how it was initiated at first? Steve made contact with the Palau Shark Sanctuary, which is a conservation organization. I started in 2001, and he made an offer uh, to come and assist uh, Palau in response to the President's appeal for assistance to enforce the sanctuary. And through a, a short dialogue over a matter of a couple of weeks, uh, we were able to come to agreement. I brought forward the offer to the president's office and he expressed uh, you know, an interest and in gave it a positive reception. And uh, as he mentioned this morning himself, uh, in a matter of a couple of days from acknowledgement from the president to here we are today, uh, this meeting came together. Uh, what are those support that we could uh, get from um, the organization to help us better protect the what the sharks. Sea Shepherd has uh, vessels, uh, fisheries uh, patrol vessels, uh, the Steve Irwin, the Bob Barker, the Gojira, we have uh, helicopters, but most importantly what we have are volunteers from around the world. And these are very impassioned people who uh, make it possible for us to do what we do. We view that uh, everybody has a vested interest in protecting our oceans no matter where you live on this planet, because if the oceans die, we all die. You know, this is really the uh, the backbone of our marine ecological system are these island nations. Um, what is the next step now? Now that the meeting, you have had a meeting and things are going, what is the next step for Let us? Let me first thank the Sea Shepherd, the captain and the uh, gentleman here. Uh, they responded so quickly after I accepted to uh, uh, talk to them. They came back in a matter of few days uh, from, from London and from Antarctica. So this morning, at 10 o'clock, I uh, met with the Council of Chiefs of Palau, and they made a presentation. And uh, I have accepted to uh, work with them as partners to protect our EZ, the sharks, the marine mammals, etc. And I will sign an agreement with them tomorrow at 4 o'clock. What does that agreement entail? It entails that they will be providing uh, technical and uh, logistic support, uh, ships, helicopters, the drones, the unmanned uh, aerial, uh, aerial, aerial surveillance, yeah. but they work uh, with the uh, law enforcement uh, team in Palau. They cannot make arrest unless we work with them. So they will uh, basically give us the uh, instruments to uh, patrol and protect our waters. Some of you may know the Sea Shepherd from the Discovery Channel program, Whale Wars. Other celebrities are also supporting the group. A few years ago, actress Daryl Hannah stopped over in Palau after being on board a Sea Shepherd vessel. This is what she had to say on OTB's program 44. T-shirt is because I came from the Sea Shepherd boat, which is a ship that is the only ship that is doing what I said, that one of the things that Palau is missing, it's just patrolling um, international waters and protected marine reserves to, to go out and protect endangered species in in established marine sanctuaries. So it's so, actually in Palau? No, they're not in Palau. They're going to the Antarctic right now. When Daryl Hanna appeared on OTV over two years ago, the thought of Sea Shepherd in Palau was never imagined. However, today at the Sea Passion Hotel, the president signed a memorandum of understanding with Sea Shepherd to begin assisting with the preservation of Palau's marine resources. Uh, very generous assistance to protect our EEZ because at this time our only patrol boat is in Australia and we have no one to patrol our waters. And I have consulted with the Director of Bureau of Public Safety and with the Council of Chiefs of Palau yesterday. They all agreed with me that we need the assistance and services 
of the Sea Shepherd. So I thank you very much on behalf of the Palawan people. Thank you. Yes. Congratulations. This is Rolinda Jonathan reporting for OTV's Weekend Reports.